At Christ the King, we are a really nurturing, supportive community. It's uh, the reputation that um, all in our community know that new families come looking for. The children at uh, Christ the King are very well loved, but also very well known. We're a small school, but our teachers, our staff get to know all of the students and know them all by name. The beauty of Christ the King, it's, it's always been a small, loving community. Even today we say we know each child by name, and we do. It creates a safe environment because as educators and, and teachers, you can tell immediately when a child, a child doesn't have to say anything often to us, we can tell from, we know them so, so well that we can tell when they're feeling anxious. I have a long association with the school um, and that's I guess why I love it so much here. One way we've tried to uh, move forward with that relationship with our, our parish is uh, involving Father Mark in um, some guidance in liturgy and using hex, his expertise in, in what's going to work well with our students attending a parish mass. Here at uh, Christ the King School at Graceful, uh, I was lucky to inherit a wonderful tradition of connectedness between the parish community and the priest and between the school community principal and staff. I'm in regular contact with the leadership team in the school and they are with me either by phone or, or by visiting to the parish office or me coming down to the parish office here at uh, Christ the King at Graceful. It's wonderful. From my personal point of view, it's great to have that bond uh, so strong and to keep working. And it does take work. It's an ongoing uh, work in progress. But to keep working to uh, strengthen that bond between the parish community and the school. Another connection between school and parish is that the two school principals within the parish uh, sit on both the parish pastoral council and the parish finance council. Parish Pastoral Council's got a, a very important uh, member, uh, committee member, is a safeguarding officer. Um, and the safeguarding officer there does visit our schools each year several times to just check if we've got the right materials up from an archdiocesan perspective uh, that's there for the protection of all who come onto site and letting them know what they need to do and who they can get in touch with if they've ever got any concerns. We meet regularly as a leadership team. So we come together uh, at least three or four times a year and we talk about safety and respect and how we're going to nurture that both in the school environment, the playgrounds, out in society, and of course with any engagement that the children and families have in the churches. We interact together as one community and it, it gives you a sense of hope for the future.